hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a what we eat in a week with a grocery haul and i hope you enjoy here is everything that i got from thrive market and my walmart order you can see we got lots of veggies, some drinks for the drink fridge, some fruit, almond milk, some snacks for the baby. I did get some ground turkey, some low carb tortillas, a few Lunchables for our Tuesday last day of school. I got some kombucha, some frozen berries. Um, I got some buttermilk waffles. My kids love those. I got some a, a pie crust for quiche. Um, some English muffins and bananas, apples, and a bunch of meat here. No. Is that good? No. Is that yummy? No. Yes. Mm. Some of these things were Walmart like swapping out my order. I actually ordered a whole box of kombucha. They didn't have it. And then I ordered um, more diff like different berries, but they substituted for the blueberries, which was fine. And um, I'm just taking some old ice cream out of my fridge that was just like barely left or freezer and um, putting away the other stuff. So I'm doing a little bit of food prep this week. Here is a recipe for quiche. Um, we're gonna make four. I'm actually having Zoe make them because she really likes to bake. So here are two of them and here's them all done. They turned out delicious. We're gonna eat them later in the week. Okay, this is one of my favorite lunches to make my kids. It's super, super, super easy and cheap and the kids love it. It is English muffin pizzas. Um, I do buy the huge bag of mozzarella, which costs about $16 at Walmart, but it lasts me well over a month. And then I buy the pepperoni and then I just use whatever sauce I have on hand. So this day I had to make this recipe three times to feed my crew, um, but it's so fast and you just stick it in the air fryer for like 10 minutes and then they are ready and my kids just love them. Okay, moving on to dinner. I was making a spinach, strawberry, and goat cheese salad for the side of my pork chops. And I also made green beans. Well, I heated up green beans. I didn't make them <laughs> um, to go with my pork chops. Uh, this is just like a super, super easy salad that you don't even need a dressing for. So I was just trying to make dinner really easy with a ton of veggies. Okay, so for the pork chops, what I did was I used the um, Just Date sauce. I put it all over the pork chops and then I put them in a rub of what you're seeing here, pepper, garlic, salt, paprika, 
and I believe that is it. And then I cooked them in a little bit of olive oil in my cast iron skillet. Yeah. Okay, here's Tuesday night. I decided to do Taco Tuesday with some ground turkey as the meat. And we just did lettuce, onions, and cheese on top of the burritos. And then I used the low carb tortillas just to try to limit as many carbs as we can. Okay, so Wednesday night, my vegan night, I completely forgot to film how to make this, but it's literally just alphabet letter pasta and some red sauce, and that's what we had for our vegan dinner. Okay, so this is Zoe on Thursday morning. She was making a dish to bring to the weekly uh, Bible study, book study potluck that they do over at church. She's been going to that for a while and she wanted to make something. So I had her make the bread last night in the bread machine and then she made it into French toast this morning. 
And when she was done, I thought that is such a good idea. I'm gonna use the rest of the bread and I made a blueberry French toast casserole for the kids. French toast casserole looks really, really delicious. I'm also taking two of the quiches that I made earlier in the week. Actually, mm -hmm. Zoe made these um, out for breakfast this morning. Okay, here's my keto haul. We got pork skins, zero sugar beef jerky, some cheese, Two heads of cauliflower, some pepperoni, bacon, sausage, sausage, berries, peppers, some cheese snack whips, thingies, uh, like every single kind of milk that is <laughs> available. <laughs> Two things of cherry tomatoes, a bunch of avocados, some red onions, even though those aren't technically keto, I'm eating them anyways. Baby spinach, romaine, two things of romaine, two things of celery, a bunch of sugar-free salad dressings, cucumbers, pepper, frozen peppers, frozen cauliflower, green peppers, and one very, very expensive flourless sprouted green bread that has to stay in the freezer that I can barely eat once a week or something like that. Good morning, guys. It's now Friday morning. Uh, last night was my night away with, with a friend, so my husband made the kids hot dogs for dinner, and I just forgot to tell him to film it. So we didn't get that on film, uh, but today is a fasting day. So I will be showing you what we eat today while we are fasting. So I decided to make smoothie bowls for the kids and they all love smoothies. They love, well, pretty much anything with fruit i mean you know kids just love fruit it's like candy basically so a lot of the times when we're doing vegan i will just let them eat fruit like crazy and um they just love that so that's what i was doing i decided to do smoothie bowls
So do you guys eat vegan food ever? If you do, let me know what your favorite recipe is in the comments. I'd love to always, you know, try new things and I'm always looking for new ideas for fasting. Okay, we're on our last meal. This is a Friday vegan bolognese and it was absolutely amazing. How does everyone like their vegan bolognese? I didn't, I didn't eat bolognese. Hot. That is Mom, what you're eating. I didn't eat it. Your face is a mess. Mommy, it's too hot. I'm waiting. Okay.